on to the Unit 10 review. Congratulations for getting this far. All right, <clears throat> a couple things I know I remember from last year about this test. Um, you want to make sure you remember how to do the adding and subtracting. Those are the first two slides, all right? A lot of you are going to factor and do it well. You just need to remember that when you factor, you take a GCF out first, and you can't have any negatives first, all right? So you're going to have to factor out a negative or factor out a GCF a lot of times. And remember, you might want to just do the Xbox factoring all the time. Okay? All right, so let's get into it. So here's subtracting polynomials. Now, if this were adding polynomials, it'd be easy. I would just have to add like terms. But since it's subtracting, I'm going to distribute a, a negative 1 first. So I have to distribute a negative 1 to everything. So this is positive, now this is negative. This was negative, now it's positive. This is negative, now it's positive. Now it's just about going back and finding like terms. So I have here my end of the thirds. I have negative 2 end of the third. That's going to go with negative 4 end of the third. That's negative 6 end to the third. I'm going to cross them out so I know I'm done with them. I like, remember, standard form. So now my next highest exponent would be squareds. So 4 squareds plus 8 square, uh, n squareds is 12 n squareds. Remember when we add, we don't change the exponent at all. We're just adding the coefficients. And then 7 plus 6 is 13. All right, so essentially that's how you would do an addition one as well, except for you wouldn't have to change anything at the beginning. All right? All right, uh, find each product. Remember, you could do a double distribute, or you could set up the table. I'll set up the table. X plus 3. And then across the top, we have negative x squared minus 5x and plus 5. x times negative x squared is negative x to the third. x times negative 5x is negative 5x squared. x times 5 is 5x. Up here, we have 3 times negative x squared is negative 3x squared. 3 times negative 5x is negative 15x. And 3 times 5 is 15. And if you remember, like terms are generally right here, diagonal. So I have negative x to the third, negative 3x squared, and negative 5x squared is negative 8x squared. Negative 15x's and 5x's is negative 10x's plus 15. All right. Let's do the next one. Factor out a greatest common factor. All right. Remember, I look at my lowest number is 30. First thing I want to say, does 30 go into 40? No. So then I look at factors of 30. 1 times 30, we already did. 2 times 15, 3 times 10, 5 and 6. We already tried 30. Does 15 go into 40? No. Does 10? Yes. 10 goes in. Then I need to look. I have b squared b. I have no common b, so 10 is my greatest common factor. I go back and divide. 40 divided by 10 is 4, plus 30 divided by 10 is 3. Don't forget our b. Minus 40 divided by 10 is 4b squared. All right, there you have that. Factor each completely. These are our magic x's. Remember, first times last, 1 times 72 is 72. 17 goes in the middle. Two numbers that multiply to 72 add to 17 are 8 and 9. So I have x plus 8 and x plus 9. Over here, I have a little bit harder one because I have 5 times negative 8 is negative 40. And then I have a 6. So two numbers that multiply to negative 40, uh, negative 4 and 10, and they add to 6. Now, because this is a not a 1, I have the X box situation that I have to do. Remember, anytime it's not a 1, you have to do the X box. So I put the first term in the first box, last term in the last box, and my new terms. Um, excuse me, positive 10v and negative 4v. Going this way between 10 and negative 8, I take out a 2, and it's positive because the 10v is positive. 5 and 4, well, there's a v there. Going this way, I have a 5v in common. Going this way, I have a 4 in common, and it's negative because this box is negative. So my two factors are 5v minus 4 times v plus 2. All right. Uh, factor this out. Um, ah, Sullivan made a mistake. This should be 4x to the 4th 
plus 12x squared minus 72x squared. Let's do this to the third. All right. First of all, we have to do the greatest common factor. All right. So 4, 12, and 72. 4 is my lowest number. Does 4 go into 12? It certainly does. Goes in three times. Does it go into 72? Yes, it does. So I'm going to take a 4 out. My lowest number of x's is x squared, so they come out. Now I go back. 4 divided by 4 is 1. x to the 4th divided by x squared is 2x's. 12, or x squared rather. 12 divided by 4 is 3. x to the 3rd divided by x squared is just x. Negative 72 divided by 4 is negative 18. x squared divided by x squared is 1. Now we have to factor this. So we have negative 18. Add to 3. That's 6 and negative 3. So we have 4x squared times x minus 3 times x plus 6. I see a lot of you forget about this GCF that you factored out, but that's important. It needs to be in your answer. And last but not least, solve by graphing or factoring. Remember, once it equals 0, we're good to factor it. So here I'm going to do 24 add 10. So that's going to be 6 and 4. So x plus 6 times x plus 4 equals 0. Once I have my two, I set them each equal to 0. Subtract 6. So x could equal negative 6. Or x plus 4 equals 0. Subtract 4. x could equal negative 4. All right. Over here, I have to add my 72p, get it all on the same side. It has to equal 0 first. So I have 8p squared plus 72p plus 64 equals 0. Uh, I have a greatest common factor. I'm taking it out. Divide everything by 8. 72 divided by 8 is 9. 64 divided by 8 is 8. Um, Factors of 8 that add to 9, 8 and 1. So now I have 8 times p plus 1 times p plus 8 equals 0. p plus 1 equals 0. So p could equal negative 1. Or p plus 8 equals 0. p could equal negative 8. There you have it. Good luck on the test, and best of luck the rest of the year. This is my last chapter. As always, Sullivan is out of here. So I jump ship in Hong Kong, and I make my way over to Tibet, and I get on as a looper, and of course, over there in Himalayas. A looper? A looper. You know, a caddy, a looper. Jack. So I tell him I'm a pro jack. And who do you think they give me? The Dalai Lama himself, the 12th son of the Lama, the flowing robes, the grace, all striking. So I'm on a first tee with him. I give him the driver. He hauls off and whacks one. Big hitter, the Lama. Long. Into a 10,000-foot crevice right at the base of this glacier. Do you know what the Lama says? No. Gunga Galunga. Gunga, gunga, gunga. So we finish 18, and he's going to stiff me. And I say, hey, Lama, hey, how about a little something, you know, for the effort, you know. And he says, oh, uh, there won't be any money. But when you die on your deathbed, you will receive total consciousness. So I got that going for me, which is nice.